Okay, so let's do another one for Mariah, just so that you get used to what you need to do in Lightroom. Um, the two biggest things with this photo would be the white balance and then the, um, it's too dark. So the first thing we want to do is go down here to the exposure and brighten him up so we can see his cute little face. Just like that. And now we want to go over to the white ba balance dropper and come over here and find a spot. I didn't really seem to do too much. That was really bad. Okay, so let's play around with the colors a little bit. Let's try this again. So the white balance is set at, the temperature is at 4650 and the tint is at plus 55. Five. Now since there's so much green and you're having such a green casting, you want to use the, play around with this slider, and I forgot to tell you that in the other video. Um, you want to get rid of that green, you want to go towards the magenta. So you want to play around with that a little bit, and I have it set at plus 55. Five. Now in all honesty, if you wanted to, then you could play with the highlights, see what happens to the highlights. That's good. Um, try to brighten it up just a little bit more. See what contrast does is too much. So I like it right, probably right about at plus 17. The exposure is at plus 202 again. And then the shadows, let's see how the shadows, let's bring the shadows up make him pop a little bit more. So the shadows are at plus five zero. The whites are probably pretty good. Let me see. So you don't want to get it too bright. I did it minus 19. And like I said, some of this is to taste as to how much you want for your editing. So now let's go up to the adjustment tool and then the sharpness is at 100%. Anchor it down and just sharpen his face just a little bit. And in all honesty, Unless you were going to do some presets or something like that, that's about all I would do. Like, you don't need to do a whole lot with this. That's the nice thing about Lightroom. Is Lightroom's easy, quick, short. You only need to spend a couple minutes on each photo. So, I guess that's about it. If you Let's go while I'm recording, and I'll do the other one, too. So, let's go do the, the third one that you sent me. I was playing around to see what I could do with color and stuff. But I'll reset it. Now, same thing, you're in a wooded area, so it's a little bit dark. So what I would do is go over here up to the exposure again, and I'm guessing that we will need to, not nearly as bright. Oh, well, that's 2.02. Maybe not so, 1.79 is what we'll do. Now go over here to the white balance dropper, and click either on his or mom's shirt. Mom's look like it might be a little bit better to do. And see how there's some of that green casting again. So let's drop that down just a little bit. And voila, look, the green is gone. I use the temperature at 5000 and then the tinting is at plus 57. Um, the only thing I would CC about this is it's really cute. It would have been nice to have seen more of the mom's face. It's hidden with the hair. And then dad's foot is cut off. So just taking a step back would have helped with that, and then you could have had her pull her hair so it was draping down the other side. But it's a sweet moment. I really like how you have this one set up. So let's go down now and play with the highlights. 
see and the highlights will make it brighter less it shows more detail if you bring highlights down some highlights are down to negative minus six two depending on how light and airy you want it some of this is going to be up to you i like the brighter a little bit less heavy photos especially when a moment like this plus two four on the shadows i'll leave the whites as is minus two one for your blacks and i don't even think really unless you wanted to i mean i guess you could sharpen but i don't even think you need to do that um you did a really good job and i guess that's about it